Hi. Welcome to my new Geometry Nodes tutorial. In this video, we will model a simple building in Geometry Nodes. Everything created in a procedural way, so we have full control of the model. We are using the default cube as our building floor. Using a Transform Geometry node, we can control the scale of the cube. After scaling the floor, now we can add a wall. Use another cube as the wall. Use a Join Geometry node. It will join both objects, otherwise you only see the object connected to the Group Output node. Now add a Transform Geometry nodes to the wall object. Use Translation to move the object. With the Transform Geometry node, you can move, rotate and scale the object. Now we can make a roof for our building, for that we can duplicate the cube. Now things get bit complicated. To make a cube into a roof shape, we need to edit the vertices of the cube. We need to use some math nodes for that. To make a roof shape, we need a loop cut on the center of the cube, and we move the line upwards to get the shape. You can add loop cuts by adding more vertices to the cube. Now we have the loop cut on place. Now we need to move the cube's center edge upwards. It will give us the roof shape. To do that we need to select the center edge. Now add a set position node. With the set position node, you can edit the vertices of the cube. Now we need to get these two vertex. Combining these two vertex we can get the center edge. To select those vertex, connect an index node to the selection socket of the set position node. Index node will give the index number of all the vertex. Now if we move the cube, it only affecting one vertex, but we have no control on which vertex selected. How can we select our desired vertex? We can add a compare node to do that. In compare node, select equal instead of greater than, and give a value to it. By doing this, Blender only select the vertex which has that value. Now the value we are using is a float, which is not ideal for selecting vertices. You can change it to integer. You can directly change it from the compare node, or you can add an integer node. Now change the number, and find the vertex we looking for. Index number 7 is the vertex we needed. The roof is not looking right, we can make it better.
Now we need to find the other vertex. We already have the nodes to do that. Only has to duplicate it. No need to duplicate index node. Because we are only changing the value of the index, we can do that by an integer node. Now connect the new compare node to the selection socket and find the vertex. Index number 10 and 7 are the vertices. Now we get the two vertices. We can use a vector math node to add them together. Remember we are using a vector math node, not math node. We need to move the vertices along the line, which will give the roof more controls. Now we need to manipulate the z-axis and y-axis of the cube at the same time. To do that, we can directly connect our nodes to the offset, then we can specify which operation happens on which axis. Now we lost the controls for the roof height, because, the offset socket now doesn't have XYZ values. But don't worry, we can add a vector math node and use scale function for the controls. Use a combine XYZ node to specify which axis we want our scale. To get the roof height, we need to use the Z axis of the combine XYZ node. It will limit the scaling to Z axis. Now we need to move the vertices on the y-axis. We can easily do that. Because we already have the vertices, we only has to connect them to the y-axis of the combine XYZ node. We can add both vertices using a vector math node, just like we do before. Now our scale node is set after the combine XYZ node, which will scale both Z and Y axis together. We need to scale those axis individually, connect the scale node before the XYZ axis. We also need to control the Y axis. Just duplicate the scale node and connect it to the Y socket. Now we have control for both axis. But our Y vertices moving in same direction. We need one of that vertices to move reverse. Add a math node multiply on one of the compare node which connected to the y-axis, and multiply it by minus 1, doing this will reverse the movement of the vertex. We have all the nodes in place, now we can make our roof controls easily accessible. Duplicate the group input node. Group input node has a free socket. If you connect any value to these socket, you can control it from the modifier tab. Connect the scale node to the free socket of the group input node. Careful not to connect it to the geometry socket. Now press N key on the keyboard, which will bring a sidebar menu. From the sidebar menu select group. Now you can see the scale function there. Now give a proper name to the input. You can now control the value from modifier tab. No need to get into the geometry nodes.
Now the roof can be scaled infinitely. We need to limit the roof height. Find a good minimum and maximum for the roof height. After you give a minimum and maximum value, the roof height will not exceed these values. Do the same thing to the roof length. Now we have finished our modeling, we can add some simple material to the objects. Add a set material node on all the objects, create three materials and select the desired material from the node. Now add a transform geometry node after the join geometry node. With this node, you can scale, move, or rotate the full building. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.